The Woodworks BC program, in conjunction with the Canadian Wood Council, is working proactively in supporting those within the design community that have solutions to the design of six-story wood-framed buildings. It supports and encourages those that are looking at traditional wood frame as well as composite interpretations and the creation of new and innovative developments of wood products not yet used. Through constructive dialogue, we believe sound and cost-effective wood solutions are out there and will be found. Hello, I'm Soup Johal and this is Stephen Street. We're both technical advisors for the Canadian Wood Council. I'm here today representing Woodworks BC. And I'm representing Woodworks from Ontario. As you're aware, as of April 6th, the BC Building Code will be amended to allow for up to six stories of wood frame construction for residential buildings only. The question many have is, what would these buildings look like and how will they be designed? Luckily for us, our neighbors to the south, here in the Seattle area, have been building mid-rise for the past six to nine years. We have an exciting opportunity in the next couple of hours to actually tour some of these buildings and to have a little bit of an insight into how they're built structurally and aesthetics and what they look like. Low-income housing is just one example of how wood-framed construction is changing the landscape of Seattle. High-end units are where engineered wood products really excel. This complex, the Marcel Condominium Project, has just been completed. But let's take a look at one still under construction. Located in the affluent neighborhood of Bellevue, Washington, is the 318,000 square foot Bell Cara project. This group of six-story wood frame buildings include 296 luxury apartment units and over 15,000 square feet of leased office and retail space. Hidden among this concrete jungle, the developers chose to build with wood. Okay, now let's look at platform framing. Platform framing incorporates both non-bearing and bearing walls. On the structural aspect, we have both two by four bearing walls. In this particular case, it's a party wall uh, where we have staggered studs on a two by six plate. Two by six exterior walls, and this is also uh, copied on the corridor walls. Sure walls are designed obviously to resist those loads and the use of plywood instead of drywall is used to counter those forces. Now of course as we move higher the tendency for floors 5 and 6 will have greater horizontal drift. Now how do we address this? And This is where continuous tie rod systems come in. To further discuss the continuous rod system I have with me Ed Chin, a professional engineer from Earthbound Corporation. Ed, can you tell us more about your system? Sure. As, as you talked about the shear wall before, basically we, a shear wall is a lateral force resisting element for building. And one thing we have to be concerned about is how do we contain the overturning of a single shear wall. Well, in this particular mid-rise stacked building, we use a continuous rod system. So basically this rod extends from the foundation, which is below this level, and goes all the way up to the top level of this building. So one consideration to worry about in a rod system is wood shrinkage and the effects of, a, of how tight that connection is going to be when a seismic event occurs. So how, how we solve the system in this particular instance is that we have a device here, basically the, uh, on top of this bearing plate, which, which is containing the differential load of the, of the level below us. We're basically in the second level, so this is the first occurrence of the device. So how the, this device is actuated, is basically spring-loaded, and as the building shrinks, this, this device travels with the building to make sure there's no gaps between the nut and the bearing plate during an event. Okay. Uh, in the six-story building, as far as, as, far as shrinkage is concerned, uh, if you use standard 2 by 12 joists, you could probably expect probably almost two inches as you work your way up, because shrinkage is cumulative from the ground, you know, ground floor all the way up to the sixth story. So the shrinkage increases as you work your way up. So at the sixth story, you probably could almost see two inches. And if you use eye joists? Uh, it'd be substantially reduced. You'd probably, probably total shrinkage probably in the range of, you know, inch, inch and a quarter. And the capacity of your take-up devices? Uh, depend. Uh, we do have a three-inch travel part that we would put on the six-story. This particular application is one-inch, uh, one-inch travel device because since we're on the, the second floor level, there's only one floor system worth of shrinkage, so maybe a quarter inch of shrinkage at most, and we have okay. a one-inch travel part here. Suk, I want to show you now is how. A, run typically terminates the top story of a building. So basically we're at the fifth level of this wood structure and I have a two inch travel component and it's on top of a patented bridge connection which is a part of the, of the rod system. So basically this bridge and these trimmers are all specified by us as 
part as integral of tying the top story of the building to the rest of the structure. While the design of BC's six-story wood frame buildings should not be taken lightly, it certainly is doable. As our neighbours to the south have experienced, the main items of concern are shrinkage and hold-down systems and the use of engineered wood products. Pre-planning and scheduling of construction materials to and from the site and the need for extensive construction details from the integrated design team. There's no doubt that Midrise Construction will be a new market segment for many suppliers, manufacturers and designers opening the door for leading edge products and services. With an experienced design team, the end product will be high quality, cost competitive and more environmentally friendly than that of traditional high-rise buildings. Six-story wood framing in BC, it's all in the details.